Hello everybody, welcome to this week's vlog. So currently it is 4.30 in the afternoon. I just got back from class, so I haven't been able to do any writing today. But right now I am uploading last week's vlog onto YouTube, so that was what I have been doing since I got home. After that I am going to go ahead and clean my room a little bit, because if you guys can see in the background it's a little bit messy. So I'm going to do that, and then we're probably going to start writing, so yeah. That's how my day is going. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic month of November. I can't believe it's almost over. Like, seriously, where has this week, uh, month, I should say, gone by? So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your time getting ready for the holiday season. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I am back. It's currently 10 o'clock and I am done writing for today. I hit my workout, which is absolutely fantastic, and the even more exciting news than that is that I hit the halfway mark today. I hit 25,000 words, which is amazing, super excited. That means I am officially back on schedule with where I should be. If you guys remember last week, I talked about in last week's vlog that I was kind of in and out of a writing slump, kind of like a reading slump of writing. And I just wanted to get out of it, and today I just wrote, 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 and turn enough, I am back on schedule. I am at, at this rate, according to my name and writing page, it says I will finish on exactly November 30th, so hopefully that will stay that way until the end of the month, despite my crazy busy schedule I have coming up in the next week, which I will talk about more in the later days of this week's vlog, so... That's really exciting. So for now, I am going to go ahead and head off to bed and do some reading and maybe even listen to the Bruins game. The Bruins are on in like five minutes. So they're out in California. So I'm going to be watching or listening to that, I should say, and then heading to bed. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 16 of NaNoWriMo. Holy cow. This month is going by so so fast. I cannot believe it. Sorry, you guys can't see me. I'm just walking out of my room. Hold on. There we go. Now you guys can see me. So it is currently noon and I haven't done any writing today. I am about to go ahead off on a walk real quick around my neighborhood and then I'm going to come back, maybe do some reading and then do some writing a little bit later on in the day. But that is my plans for right now and I will talk to you guys in a little okay, bit. Okay, so it's currently nine o'clock and guess what i haven't done any writing today i don't know what came up for me today i think it's just been kind of one of those days where i just haven't been in the mood to write which really really sucks i don't know i hadn't really i didn't really have anything going on today it was just an off day and spent the entire day watching a mix uh, regular YouTube, booktube, music reviews, a lot of stuff. And I'm also working on kind of a secret project that I will announce at the beginning of next year, so stay tuned for that. That does have to do with YouTube, and it's going to be really exciting. So, I, again, I will be announcing that at the beginning of the next year, at the beginning of 2018. So, I was working on that all day. It's just been kind of... More you focusing on YouTube and less on my writing project, but hopefully that will change. I still have a few hours left to write, so that's what I'm going to go do. I am going to go ahead, turn on some Thursday night football, and then write, 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 write until midnight, maybe past midnight if I have to. So I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Okay, everybody, so I'm back. It's currently 11 o'clock, and I am done writing for the day. I did end up hitting my workout, so that's pretty good. And now I am going to go ahead and watch some booktube for the rest of the night, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 17 of NaNoWriMo. So currently it is noon, and I am back in my car. Seems like almost every vlog, if you guys have seen like my booktube -thon or Topapa vlogs that I've done in the past, I'm always in my car for some reason, but oh well. So it is, like I said, about noon, and I am waiting for my mom to get out of the store. We have to run to the market and the dollar store real quick. And then I'm actually going to go to the movies with my best friend, and we are going to go see uh, the movie Daddy's Home 2 with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. 
she actually saw it last week and really enjoyed it. She was up to seeing it again today. So that is the plan. After I come back from the movies, I think I'm going to film a video. I'm not quite sure yet and get that up on YouTube and then do writing afterwards. Anyways, for now, I'm going to go and continue reading The Maze Runner. I'm about 150 pages in. I am really liking this so far, but I'm, you know, I'm almost done with it. So hopefully I'll be able to finish it by the end of the day. So that's my update for now. I will see you guys probably when I get out of the movie. So I'll see you then. I am back with another update. It is currently 5 o'clock and I just got back from the movies about an hour ago. Like I said earlier, I went with my best friend to see the movie Daddy's Home 2, which stars Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg, who are two of my favorite actors of all time. It was so good. I was a huge fan of the first Daddy's Home movie. This one I think was even better than the first one, but I loved it. So if you guys haven't seen it in theaters yet, go check it out. I think it only came out like a couple of weeks ago, so brand new. But anyways, like I said, it's now 5 o'clock and I still haven't done any writing. Again, this this has been one of those dates where I'm just like not in the mood to write. But I am going to get some done before I go to bed tonight. If even I have, I have to force myself to. Last night I got to a point in my story which I wasn't originally going to put in, but... I put it anyways. It originally it was gonna be a YA book and now it's transitioning more into a new adult more maybe borderline YA to new adult book, so that's okay with me. I am still enjoying it and we're finally getting to the part where the evil queen retelling really starts to come in. The first like twenty five thousand words are all world building. Now is the actual magic and the retelling comes into play so that is where I am in my story I have a total of 26,873 words done so and I think I have to have 28,000 or so words written today so that's my plan I will check in with you guys and if you're hours okay, okay, I'm back it is now 7 30 and I have written about 400 words today so far it's been once again, kind of a roller coaster of a day, but I'm hoping to get more writing done in the next few hours. So now, before 8 o'clock hits, I am going to try to do some more writing. Don't know how that's going to go. And then at 8 o'clock, it's Friday night. So, you know, there's no not me. If you guys want to follow my channel for any amount of time, you know my favorite TV show, at least at the moment, is Once Upon a Time. And tonight is the two-hour special. I think it's the mid-season finale. I could be wrong. So I'm going to be watching that at 8 o'clock. I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared because this season, season 7, I, in my personal opinion, has been my favorite season since season 1. Season 1 has been my overall favorite season, but this one is going to be a close second. It might even beat season 1 out for first place. I love this season so much. And if you guys are currently watching this season let me know in the comments down below what you have thought about it because oh it's so good it's so good the cast reboot we got after season six i think was definitely worth it but we have seen other characters from the past six seasons appear so i'm trying not to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen the show but we did get a cast reboot and i think it was worth it but again let me know in the comments down below what you got your guys' opinions on season 7 so far if you are watching it have been so that's my plans for the next few hours and I will talk to you guys after once upon a time so be prepared for a lot of fangirling okay guys so I am back with another update it's currently 10 30 and I just finished watching this week's episode of once upon a time oh my god guys I really wish I could just sit down in a video and talk about this episode like all I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel or watch any sort of channel that involves fandom love this show as much as I do I've been a diehard fan for a couple of years now and this season season seven I don't know there's just something about it and then this particular episode wow <laughs> talk about plot twists so if you guys do watch the show like I said earlier, let me know in the comments down below what you've been thinking about this season. And I would love to know. It has just taken me back. It 
in a way, it reminds me a lot of season one, but it's so different in so many ways. And again, I don't want to spoil anybody anything for anybody who has not seen the show, but if you guys have never watched Once Upon a Time, I, if you have Netflix, I would like you to sit down and just binge watch it. <laughs> it's so good. Anyways, I'm going off topic on what I should be talking about, which is writing. So like I said, it's 1030. And I've written a total of 684 words today, so I'm slowly making my way through that. I have trying to hey, write everybody. It is currently 1045, and I have been doing some writing since Once Upon a Time ended it about 45 minutes ago. Yeah, that episode killed me internally. Oh my lord. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but if you watched... If you guys are Once Upon a Time fans and you watch season 7, you know there's a lot of plot twists in every single episode, especially this episode, so yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's just been a lot of stuff going on that I didn't see coming. Anyways, back to writing. Like I said, I have been doing some writing, not a whole lot, but I've gotten up to 684 words right now, and to be honest, the story is going really good. And I originally was going to make this a standalone, but I think I might make it the duology. So if I do decide to do a duology, the next book I would be writing next NaNoWriMo or even Cameron NaNoWriMo. Right now it's going to be a standalone. I don't know if it's going to be inside the 50,000 word mark. I would like to make it a little bit longer, maybe closer to 75,000 words, but it all depends on how my story wraps up at the end of this month. I will keep you guys posted on that. But for now, I am going to go ahead and write for the rest of the night, and I will be back to check in with you guys probably before I wrap up tonight to go to bed. So I will see you Alright everybody, so I am back with another update. It's currently 11.30, and I am done writing for the day. I hit my word count, which is fantastic. At this rate, I will finish on November 30th, which is the last day of NaNoWriMo, excuse me, and that's fairly less, so I'm very happy with how the story is coming along. I have just under 29,000 words done, so that's really cool. I'm hoping to hit the 30,000 word mark tomorrow. Uh, to be exact, on my word count, I have 28,551 words done, so that's pretty cool. 30,000 words would be Awesome to hit tomorrow, and according to this little graph I have on my NaNoWriMo page, if any of you guys are participating in NaNoWriMo, you probably know what I'm talking about. It says that on day 18, which is tomorrow, I should hit the 30,000 mark, mark to stay on track. So that's what I am planning on doing tomorrow. This weekend is going to be crazy busy. I have, there is, I don't know if every state does this. If you guys do this in your state, uh, if you live in the U.S., we have a Santa parade on Sunday, which is this really crazy parade in my town that uh, we do the Sunday before Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is next week, which is insane. So that's happening on Sunday. And then we also have, obviously, Thanksgiving. We have it over my house every year. And then next Friday, a week from today, yeah, I'm actually going to New York City for the second year in a row. I went last year, had a blast, and we're going to be there on Friday and Saturday, so I don't know much how how much vlogging I'm going to get done on those two days, but I want to try to get as much done. We're actually going to be staying overnight there. We're going to be going to see a show. We're going to go see the show Chicago on Friday night, and then we stay overnight in a hotel, and then we come back home to Boston on Saturday afternoon, evening, so... That's pretty cool coming up. And yeah, so for the rest of the night, I'm going to go ahead and watch some book two and do some reading, and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 18 of NaNoWriMo. So it is currently 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I have done a little bit of writing. I've written about 200 words so far today, but that's it. That's all I have to update as far as my writing right now. It hasn't been that busy of a day. I've kind of just been chilling in my room and having kind of a relaxing day. I've been watching some booktube. I was watching some Netflix. And just, and I also I was planning out what I'm going to film for this week's videos. Obviously, I'm going to have this vlog going up on Wednesday. And then I have to figure out Monday and Friday's videos. So, I don't know. That's what I'm going to probably do for a little bit. And then continue writing. 
but that's my update for now and I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, I'm back with another update. It's currently 7 o'clock and I hit the 30,000 word mark today. Woohoo! Anyway who has ever participated in NaNoWriMo knows the feeling of getting so close to winning it that it's just, you can see it, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's right there and we still got 13 days left to go. It's come together so good. It's definitely starting to wrap up the way I had planned it when I started writing this thing at the beginning of the month. I'm so excited about it and I'm definitely, at this point, I know I'm going to hit that 50,000 word mark on November 30th. I have no doubt in my mind. Unless something dramatically changes, it's going to happen, guys. I know it. <sighs> Hopefully, I will not jinx myself by saying that. But, Anyways, that is my writing up update for now, and I figured why not give you guys a quick reading update. I haven't done that in a while. So I am currently reading a couple books. The first one is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is a book I've been reading for the past couple weeks now. I am almost halfway through with it. I am really liking it so far. I have very low expectations going in, but they, it is definitely meeting those expectations and exceeding it. So that's really cool. And then I just picked up another audiobook. So if you guys saw last week's vlog, you would know I listened to uh, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Sons. That was narrated by Lin Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton. And after listening to that book, which I absolutely loved, I was on a big Hamilton kick. So I figured, why not pick up the audiobook for Hamilton the Revolution? This is by Lin Manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. This is a nonfiction book that pretty much details the entire story of how Hamilton came to be. And yeah, I'm only about 20 or 25 minutes in. I'm not very far in, but I'm loving it so far. It's a pretty short audiobook. So I probably can finish it either tonight or tomorrow. So I'm definitely intrigued by that. And again, it's so good. I marked off exactly where I was. I'm about 15 pages into the book. So that's really, really cool. So I am going to go ahead and listen to my audiobook and do some more writing, and we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back with another update, and it's probably going to be my final update of tonight, unless I decide to update you guys later on how my reading is going. But currently, it is 7.45, and I finished reading for the day. I hit my workout, so I'm, again, once, on, once again on track with where I should be so that's really cool so for the rest of the night I am going to continue listening to my audiobook and kind of reading along in the physical book format and then I will well, either update you guys if I finish it tonight or I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody welcome to day 19 of NaNoWriMo. So currently it's 11.30 in the morning and I just got ready for the day. We have that parade today like I was telling you guys about a couple days ago. That's happening today in a couple of hours, so I'm gonna get a little bit ready for that. But before that, I am gonna try to do some writing and then go from there. So I will talk to you guys in a couple hours. Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to day 20 of NaNoWriMo. So I haven't updated you guys since yesterday morning. I got last for you guys probably around 10:30 yesterday, and as I was saying a couple days ago, I had a party after this parade my town puts on every year. That was yesterday, and I thought I'd be able to vlog once more during the party, but I didn't get a chance. That lasted from 1.30 to 6 o'clock at night, and also the Patriots were on because we had a uh, 4.25 game against the Oakland Raiders, and we won, so yay! Uh, and then I wrote for the rest of the night, and I just completely forgot to update you guys. But I did end up hitting my word count, and now I'm up to just over 32,000 words. And today I woke up pretty early. I had to go to school a little bit early because my mom had a doctor's appointment. So I went there around 9.30, wrote for a little bit. Uh, I didn't do that much writing because I was kind of distracted by booktube. And then I worked on homework for the rest of the time. And then I had a class, and I had dance club, and then I had my other class. It's just been a long day. I also had that cooking class I mentioned in last week's vlog. That was supposed to happen last Monday, but it moved today. today. So that happen and I just got back from that not too long ago probably about an hour and a half ago so I just have had a busy day to say the least so now it is nine o'clock and I'm finally gonna go back and do some writing so I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys in a little bit well, hello there everybody and welcome to day 21 of NaNoWriMo so I completely forgot to update you guys last night 
after I hit my word count, I did end up hitting it. However, I was exhausted by the time I had finished writing that I fell right to sleep, so I apologize for that. But now it is the next day. It is currently 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I've had a pretty chill day. I haven't really done anything besides watch YouTube all day, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, that's about to change. I have to do a blog post. I have to do finish my review of Aerosol and Not to Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I read to Mary Larry Sons, which I read last week, if you guys saw last week's vlog. I threatened to do my review for that, and also, of course, hit my word count for today, so hopefully that will happen. But before I go, I just want to let you guys know I got a new book in the mail. This is actually an ARC, and that is Ignition by William Hawkins. This is the first book in the series, and this comes out on December 5th. Uh, I got contacted by the publisher, and they said, hey, Jackie, do you want to review this? I said, yes, of course, this comes out like I said on December 5th and it's a pretty cool funny book it's a dystopian I believe so definitely excited to check this out so for now I'm gonna go ahead and go right and I will see you guys in a few hours okay everybody so I'm back with another update it's currently quarter of 11 and I have finished writing for the day I surpassed my word account for like what the 10th time this man or well, that's pretty crazy it was just a very productive writing day I can't believe that this month is almost over we have 10 days left like how <laughs> seriously where has this month gone by i feel like it's just flown by and with school and everything on top of nanowrimo i my mind has just blown how much this month has flown by so it's been a great process of doing nanowrimo this year much better than my experience last year because it's a whole nother story i think i've mentioned in a couple vlogs before i failed like halfway through the number I remember last year because I had no idea what I was doing. This year I actually had a decent idea and it's definitely coming along very smoothly. And I'll be honest right now, I'm just going to say this and hopefully I won't jinx myself in the next week and a half that we have left, I think my story will probably be done before the 50,000 word mark. Just the way it's going right now, I feel like I might finish it up around 45 to 47,000 words. I don't know. I will keep you guys updated about that next week, but that is the way it's going right now. So hopefully I'll be able to fit everything I want to fit in for the rest of the story in those 50,000 words, but who knows, like I said. So this is where I'm actually going to go ahead and end this week's vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not read it already. I will be sure to have my NaNoWriMo page linked down below if you guys are interested in following me on that. Along with all my other social media links, my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are always linked down below. I will also have the playlist to all the other blogs I've done in the past, so those include my Booktubeathon vlogs, Tome Topple vlogs, as well as the past two weeks' vlogs. Again, that will be down in the description bar below. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!